<laughs> I don't think everyone wants to hear about this. You you might I'm I'm sure it's fine. If you don't if you don't want to hear but it just it just might squeak you out. It's I'm not going to I'm going to make it as tame as possible. Because I will remember this, I think, for the rest of my life, this whole situation that happened. So I'm chilling there. I'm like, wow, I don't feel so bad, to be honest. I'm like ready to, I'm ready to, oh, excellent. The saplings are here. Now they get to hear about this, <sighs> about the secret thing that they did while I was asleep. <laughs> um, I'm chilling. I'm sitting on the bed recovering. I'm like, yay, I'm alive. Let's go. That's more than I thought was going to happen. And at the time, my knee didn't really hurt so much. I was like, yeah, you know, my knee feels all right. But they said to me afterward, you know, the doctor comes up, I was like, how you feeling, Mori? I'm like, I'm all right. The doc says, yeah, the surgery had to be about twice as long as we thought it was going to be because of a complication that happened. And they explained it to me and whatnot. And, and it, it seemed like I was like, oh, OK, that's terrifying. But I'm glad everything was was OK in the end. And I'm glad I wasn't awake for it. Right? And then the doc says, yeah, yeah, you know, everything is, everything's good. It was just a longer surgery than we thought it would be. So the nurse is going to come over and help get, help, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, uh, get you over to the overnight room. And I was like, okay, yeah, sounds good. So the nurse comes over and is like, hey there, Maury, what's going on? I'm like, oh yeah, nothing much, just chilling. And I don't feel anything weird. I don't feel anything strange at all at that time. I'm just hanging out, feeling good about life. And so the nurse says, all right, well, before we take you over to the overnight room, uh, we got to get rid of the secret tube. And I said, what is the secret tube? And the nurse says, well, you know, you were asleep for a longer time than we thought that uh, you were going to be. So uh, we had to uh, insert a, a little tube. And I go, oh, OK, cool. Where? And then she tells me where it is. And I almost fainted on the spot. I actually audibly screamed. I let out a squeak and my eyes rolled into the back of my head and I literally started hyperventilating on the spot and I almost passed out <laughs> because, because, what the fuck, what? I didn't know they were gonna put something like that inside of me. I said, so you're gonna, so you took it out, right? While I was sleeping, you took it out. She says, no, we're gonna take it out now. I say, am I gonna feel it? She says, it will be uncomfortable. And I tense, I tense up. She says, Maury, if you tense up, it's gonna hurt when I pull it out. I take a deep breath and I relax and I say, just do it. And she pulled it out and I never wanna feel anything like that ever again for the rest of my life. I don't know if you can get me into the surgery room again. <laughs> yeah, that was frightening. So I never wanna, I never wanna go through that again. That was probably the worst part, to be honest. Everything else was pretty much fine. But that was horrific. I wouldn't say burn, just very strange feeling, and I wanted to throw up, so there was that. But that's okay. Now imagine being a dude. Do they have to... Do they do that for... Guys? Do I wasn't implying that you don't have one of those. I'm just... I'm thinking, like, why don't they put, like, a sock on it or something like that? Like, why do they have to... Why do they have to insert... Why? Why do they have to do that? A sock? Well, yeah! Like, just... Just wrap something around it and like, you know, if it trickles out, then you, it just seems more painful to put like a, a secret tube because it's medical. Probably to avoid infection. Okay, that's, that's actually a really, that makes sense. That does make sense, I will say.